Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So the other day, my son and his class, they went on a virtual field trip to Butterfly World. So my son wanted to learn more about butterflies. So I got online, I found a company called Insect Lore, insectlore.com, and I ordered a butterfly kit with live caterpillars. So they literally shipped, I'm in South Florida, so they literally shipped Cal, um, from California to Florida live caterpillars. So we just got the box and we're gonna open it up and see what's inside. What's over there? I don't know. What's in that? What's on the box? Butterfly. What do you think it is? Hmm, caterpillar? Yeah, it's your caterpillars. Are you excited? Yay, yeah, yay, yeah, let's, let's. Okay, let's open it, okay? Yeah, you open it. So it says this end up. Fortunately, our meal man did leave it up like that. I've already cut it open. And let's see. This is a so inside, and there I see the caterpillar. Oops, there they go. So we have, we got two things of caterpillars. Ooh, we got two caterpillars. And there they are. They're so small. Look. Yeah, they're so small. Those are going to become butterflies. Isn't that cool? Yeah, but they're not moving. And this is the, the rest of the butterfly farm. What is this? They and that was moving too. I think they actually were taking naps. They were probably taking naps. You're absolutely right. So here are the directions. It says it's time to grow caterpillar quick guide. And we're start is grow your caterpillars. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six steps. So let's see. So it says, your caterpillars arrive with nutritious food. They need to grow into healthy butterflies. They may seem tiny and inactive at first, but please give them 48 hours to acclimate to their new surroundings. Soon your caterpillars will be eating and growing before your eyes. Here's what to do. Handle the cup of caterpillars gently. Place the cup, cup upright indoors, away from sunlight or drafts. Keep the lid on the cup. Do not touch your caterpillars. Maintain a temperature of 68 to 75 degrees and watch carefully. Your caterpillars will shed their exoskeleton several times as they grow. Isn't that neat? Yeah. So we need to get them out of the sunlight, okay? Maybe we'll put them in your room. Number two is see them become chrysalides. And I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. After seven to 10 days, your caterpillars will climb to the top of the cup and attach themselves to the underside of the lid. They will hang a, in a J shape, shed their exoskeletons one last time and harden into chrysalides. chrysalides. I don't know if that's right. <laughs> Chrysalis. Chrysalis. <laughs> My five-year-old just told me what it is. Chrysalis, okay, there we go. Here's what to do. Wait three days for your caterpillars to fully harden into chrysalis. Do not handle the cup during this important time. Remember, an amazing transformation is taking place inside. Prepare your butterfly habitat. So the next step will be to move the chrysalis, chrysalis to the butterfly habitat. Watch the birth of your butterflies and then feed your butterflies with nectar or fruit and then set your butterflies free. That means I have a little bit of fun with my butterflies. That's right. You're going to have a little bit of fun with your butterflies. Are you going to feed them? Yeah. You're going to take care of them? Yeah. So the kit that I bought brought little display things, and this is <gasps> the are... egg. And that's the egg. No, that's the egg. That's the caterpillar. Yeah, and little That's the chrysalis. And this is the butterfly. butterfly. And that's the, butter, the painted lady butterfly life cycle. Isn't that neat? So this has a the really cute little fly. kit. This has a really little cute little yeah. kit. The daily observation so we can see every day when, how it observes. Then we're gonna have the life cycle of the butterfly. The parts of the butterfly, right? Yeah, and the And some little activities. And then you get a certificate, a butterfly raising certificate. Then they have wild, wildflower seeds, attract your butterflies to your garden. And then this is to put the chrysalis when they form. You put them on the, um, you take them out and then you put this in the butterfly farm, which we won't open yet, but we'll put this. This is a little net that when you put that in, so when they become butterflies, they stay in the net and not hang out in the house. The caterpillars are at little spikes and they're legal. It, yeah. And they're legal and with legal spikes. See, but can actually can't see them. Yeah, she can't see them, so that way she can't eat them, right? 
Yeah. Okay. Shiva's our dog, and she has a history of eating everything, right? So she, we don't want her to eat the caterpillars, right? Yeah. That would be bad. Yeah, because then you got to buy another caterpillar. <laughs> we have to buy more. So we're going to put them in Ryder's room because it says to put them in a dark, cool place, and that is Ryder's room. So here we go. So we put them in Ryder's room. So here, we're gonna leave them here. And we'll monitor them each day. So today is Saturday, April 10th. And we'll uh, take a look at them each day. So it is Monday, April 12th. And I don't know if you can see how much, they've pretty much doubled in size. I don't know if you can see um, how much bigger they've gotten. It's pretty impressive to see how, they, they were teeny tiny when we got them. So, um, they're definitely moving, they're definitely growing, and it's been fun. Ryder is growing his own caterpillars to change into butterflies at home, so look, he's shedding them off and putting them in the Yeah, also they have spider webs. Look, they're creeping, crawling, walking all around. So, this is day five, and as you can see, they have grown quite a bit there you go there's a good size of it um so one of them only had four in it i don't know if maybe one didn't survive as you can see there's two there and there's two at the top i think this is the one with only four and um and then in this one there's five yep this one has the one with five and they have like quadrupled in size which is pretty cool so my son got to show them to his class today which was fun which i just showed you and um waiting them to become chrysalis okay so Ryder just got home from school and we're gonna check on the caterpillars let's look at them let's see how they how they look Ryder. whoa they're so so big yeah how big are they how much bigger they are they're also so long yeah there's some long, big caterpillars. What do you think they're doing? The tell them what you're doing. Oh. That's the egg. That and that then like the caterpillar. And then the crystal. And then the crystal is done. And then the butterfly. The butterfly. So it is Saturday, um, April 6th, 17th. And as you can see, they um there's one right there there's a caterpillar right there Ryder woke up really excited because most of them are on the top so in this one has four two of them are on the top one is almost there and one is going up there and then on this one they're all at the top so it looks like they're getting ready to form into the chrysalis Ryder was so excited he woke up um just really excited to see them all up there so looks like it's getting close Look at your caterpillars. Oh my god. See how they're hanging down? I think they're turning into chrysalis now. Yeah, they're turning into chrysalis. Isn't that neat? But one right there is trying to bend down. Yeah. Isn't that exciting? So there should be chrysalis soon. That means they're going to be butterflies pretty <gasps> soon. What? I see a crazy thing. And that means they're... they're <laughs> so it's Saturday evening. Um, April 17th we got them exactly a week ago today and um, looks like so this one has all five I don't know if you can see all five are hanging down and this one has four and two of them are hang hanging down so it's been fun okay so it's Sunday April 18th and as you can see um, the one with five they've almost almost completely formed to chrysalis this one they're in the process they turn into it like a J and then they shed their exoskeleton and then they become chrysalis so the direction says to leave them here till they're so they're fully hardened for three days so probably another two days before we move them to the butterfly net um and then we'll i'll show you how we do that but they're in the process and it's very important not to touch them that's why i'm not moving them it's very important not to touch them during this time because as you can see they're very very fragile so if you can see if i move it they kind of dangle so but uh it's a pretty cool process so it is tuesday april 20th and it has now been three days they started forming the chrysalis on saturday so it's now been three days and we are going to set up 
the um, chrysalis to put them in the butterfly net and move them there. So wish me luck. So here's the net. And then what we do is you put the tops and you put them on the side here. And um, yeah, I gotta read the directions. So as you can see, we've done grow your caterpillars, see them become chrysalis, that's what we've done. And now we're to step three, which move your chrysalis to the butterfly habitat. Gently remove the lid with the hanging chrysalis from the cup of caterpillars and gently remove any silk, frass, surrounding the chrysalis with a cotton swab gently insert the lid sideways into the slot into the chrysalis station log then place the chrysalis station log in the butterfly habitat <sighs> this seems stressful doing it really carefully so i don't try and loosen them and probably should have loosened the top before they became chrysalis, so maybe I'll do that next time. Okay, they're all still there. And let's see. Okay, they're all still there. I'm gonna turn it sideways. And okay, they're all there. And I'm going to place it into the log. a bit which is kind of freaking me out do you see that let me show you so that one is not happy um it's kind of freaking me out a little bit pick it up and one is in the habitat Yay! I already loosened it up. And let's see. Okay. This one has some silk and it's a little stuck. Ooh. There we go. Ooh, this one's got a lot of stuff stuck. stuff moving do you see that do you see them moving okay these calmed out okay I'm gonna put them in a butterfly net now yay so we will just leave them here in my son's bedroom on his dresser and hopefully in a few days we'll have nine beautiful butterflies okay Ryder, we moved your your caterpillars into the net you want to see the chrysalis yeah isn't that neat yeah well the, the one just fall down and another one and then and yeah. that one what do you think so it is monday april 26th and we have some butterflies so as you can see, the ones here, these are the ones on the right hand side that um, that became chrysalis first and then we already have one right here. So one's still coming out of the chrysalis. We checked this morning and they hadn't even started so it's pretty fast. Unfortunately my son's at school so he's missing it but hopefully the ones on the left hand side um, and as you can see, they're very, very fragile. So that's one of the things it says is that they're very fragile and they're early. But this is very exciting. So here's the directions. It says after seven to 10 days, your painted lady butterflies will emerge from the chrysalis. At first, the butterfly's wings will be soft and crumbled. The butterflies will slowly stretch and strengthen their wings. As you can see, they may execute a few small drops of meconium after they emerge. This is normal. And what to do is to not disturb them for two to three hours. Do not touch the newly emerged butterflies. And we're gonna wait two to three hours before feeding them. I'm just very excited. You see that one emerging? 
I go? And there he goes. And there's the one butterfly just came out of the chrysalis. You see how the wings are crumpled? So they're still wet and they need to dry. Look at your butterflies. Whoa! <laughs> they're butterflies now. Yeah, there's six of them. Wow. There's three. There's three left that haven't that haven't become butterflies yet, but six of them are butterflies. Yeah. Isn't that neat? That's cool. <laughs> you ready? Right. 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 Can daddy do that? Can daddy do it? So, and then the, you see here, that's the meconium. What's it, what is it going on? Meconium, that's something that it, you had some too. <laughs> but you, but you pooped inside, so that was, that's a whole other video. Totally unnecessary. Totally other, <laughs> another video. So as you can see, all the butterflies are they have all come out and they are, oops, this one's upside down. There we go. And I put some fruit in there for them to eat. Check out their chrysalis. Oh, it's right over here. So you can see the empty chrysalis is over there. Um, but we have nine. So all nine that all the caterpillars that we had, they all became butterflies. So as you can see, I put some fruit in there this one's eating but that's what they uh, tell you to put um, you mix <clears throat> some sugar and make some nectar out of sugar water but then also you can put fresh fruit so we'll probably keep them for a day or two before we release them and then we'll release them um, either tomorrow or Thursday it's Tuesday now so I wanted to show you how I feed the butterflies we're actually gonna get them let them go today but you can see that's the nectar they do give you two packets of sugar and they explain how to make the nectar and then i've been giving them fruit every couple hours just kind of changing it out we're gonna let them go because i don't see them eat very often well that one there was that one but um and i want to make sure that they survive and thrive so we're gonna let them go but i just wanted to show how you let them eat i mean i guess they don't eat very much so <laughs> But, um, and then, so the water, I kind of mixed with the, oop, there they go, the water and then the sugar water I put in here, and then they give you this little thing, and you kind of just, oop, you take this out, and then you pour it in there. So, but that's how you feed the butterflies. Okay, Ryder, what are we going to get doing? What are we going to do? We're going to release the butterflies. We're going to release the butterflies. Okay, let's take the food out, okay? Okay, Ryder, are we getting ready to release the butterflies? Yeah. They look like they're ready to go, don't they? They're excited. They're excited. That's right. Okay, go ahead and unzip it. Ready, guys. Whoop. Okay, lift the flap so that they can go. You ready? They want to fly out. Let's see. They want to fly out. Oh, one of them want to fly out. Yeah, we'll get it. There we go. They're not flying out. Okay. They're going to fly out. Let's fly see. Out. Fly, fly. Oh, there it goes! Bye, 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 the butterfly! Okay, get the other one. Let's try and get them out. Oh, Yay! Yay! Okay, let's get the other ones, right? I don't want to fly yet. Look, he's on my finger. He's on my finger. Oh, there he goes! He just fly out! You want to try? He just got him. You want to try another one? Yeah. You, look, look, look. He's on my finger. You want to see if he's on your finger? You want to put him on your finger? You want to try? Yeah. Well, there he goes. Oh, here okay, goes. put your hand in. Put your hand in. And try and get one on your finger. <laughs> he keeps tickling my finger. Like, there, there he is. There he is. Look. <gasps> He's on your finger. <laughs> He's on your finger. Yay. Oh, I want to fly. Get all by himself. Let's see. He doesn't. He 
wants to stay. There he goes. There he goes. I want to you go. Want? Okay, there's please. three more. There's three more. Now, pick, that one. pick that one. Get out that one. That little one. Okay. There he is. Get out of your... It's on your watch. It's on my watch. Look at him. Watch, Look how pretty. I'm the watch king. <laughs> okay, there I go. I can ride over there. I go down the... I want to fly out all by myself. Oh, one is gone. Another on one. Near your hand. You want to see him? Yeah. Where are we? Oh, there we go. Okay, there's one more. Why don't you do it? I want to do it this time. Okay, let's try and get him. Try and get him, got. There you go. Shh. Be, 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 be quiet, okay? Okay. See, all his friends are gone. Oh, okay. Be careful. Be still. Be still. Be very still. Okay, there he is. Last one. Are you going to fly out all the room for that yeah. one? Get out. Are the ready to get out? Okay, look at the camera. Look at the camera. Okay. Ready to get out, little Hold butterfly. Whoops. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, there he goes. Bye-bye, little butterfly. Bye-bye, little butterflies. So um, we released the butterflies and just kind of wanted to give a recap of the whole experience. It was a lot of fun. I actually probably enjoyed it more than my five-year-old son. I was checking in on the, uh, the caterpillars every day, seeing them grow, watching them turn into chrysalis, and then watching them turn into butterflies. And I actually was able to watch a couple of them become butterflies, which was really cool. Um, didn't get my son, they didn't, my son wasn't able to catch any because he was at school when it happened, but we still had, um, you know, he still enjoyed it and I did catch one on video and he was able to see it and also share it with his class, which I showed you. Um, just timing, we got him on a Saturday and they almost look like they were dead. So if they look like they're dead, they're probably not. They're probably just kind of, um, you know, they traveled a long way. And then they became chrysalis the following Saturday and um or started to become chrysalis the following saturday and then um let's see then they started to become butterflies on monday so i think that was the case um i think that was it so it was like it was seven to ten days that they became chrysalis and then they were chrysalis for seven to ten days and they started to become butterflies on monday i believe it was which so gives you a little time frame they say you can keep them um, for up to a week we decided to release them I didn't see them eating very much and I'm sure they don't eat a lot but I didn't see them eating and I didn't want to take the risk of any of them dying in my care so we released them and releasing them was a lot of fun um, it was just it was fun it was a great experience we're definitely gonna do it again definitely recommend insect lore um, it was fantastic I'm you know probably they have like ladybugs they have different types of um, of I guess kits so we're probably gonna do the butterflies again because we have everything now we just need to order the caterpillars um, but it was really great so I highly recommend it really good learning experience my son taught me a few things I really enjoyed it so you know great something you know to do with your kids so with that if you like this video click like click and subscribe that way you get a notification every time I post a new video bye everyone